My three key takeaways from today's session is when it comes to listening to the naysayers, actually listen to the advice, change approach and keep going. I talk a lot about perseverance. Perseverance, nay plus, nay plus, nay plus time equals a yes, which is a really valuable lesson that I learned from Richard Harpin, the founder of HomeServe, about that perseverance and resilience to keep on going. And then the final point is we talk a lot about innovation today. Um, innovating, ensuring that businesses stay current, no business is too small to succeed or too big to fail. So the three key takeaways from my session are firstly, remember to be the mentor. Don't jump in and try and be the hero. The second thing you want to do is sell people a better future. Stop selling them solutions. And thirdly, always make sure you give people one simple action they can take right now that starts them on the journey to success. Key takeaways that I was talking about while alive are firstly, I think the biggest mistake that we can make right now is to believe the way things are is the way they have to be. And we've all heard it when we try and propose something new. Oh, we've tried that before. And that becomes my watchword. That is the direction of travel, where we can change and where we can challenge and we can lay some foundations for doing something truly new. My second key takeaway would be around, sometimes there's this notion that being more pirate is a, a dangerous act or a risky act. But I think as we find ourselves desperate for the war for talent, for finding new opportunities to stand out on the high street, that breaking the rules isn't a, a risky thing to do it becomes a responsible thing to do. And by my definition, breaking the rules really just means creating new space for making new and better rules. Coming from a sporting background is the way that I look at challenges is being how to get the, the ultimate performance. So it's about uh, planning, it's about the structure. It's not really about the motivation. It's about how you do it and how you go about it and pushing those boundaries back. So my three top tips were, number one, you can't predict the future, so stop trying. Number two, think about the future as a series of possible futures, and then think probabilistically about each one. And that leads to number three, which is once you're thinking probabilistically, understand that actually what we're doing is a calculation. Understand that that's not scary, because you're doing it anyway all the time, but if you can take control of that process and do that calculation consciously, and crucially, think long term, then you can be a better judge of what to do, when to hold them and when to fold them and how to maximise your returns on investment. So my three key takeaways are great customer experience ideas need to be low in cost but high in value. It's really important to treat your employees or your team members as if they were customers so that they stay with you and create the environment inside your organisation that you want your customers to experience. Uh, so my name is Ollie France, I'm an expedition leader taking people to some of the world's most dangerous places and my three key takeaways are, first of all, sometimes the biggest risk is not taking that action towards our big dreams. Resilience is something that we can tap into within, it lies within ourselves, and it's about battling those negative voices in our mind. And finally, uh, self-confidence is our natural default setting. It's something that we're all born with, but sometimes it's about stripping away those layers and rediscovering it within ourselves.